What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sin City Outdoors and if you guys click this video, you might be curious on how we're going to catch fish for less than $20. Just so you guys know, pretty much every single state has ponds that they stock with trout and catfish and stuff for you to go and catch the fish and eat them. We're actually going to be taking advantage of that today and we wanted to do it for less than $20 just to show you guys how easy it is. So in these ponds around Vegas here, they stock them with trout. Um, there's a whole bunch of people that catch them and a lot of you guys have been curious on how we're catching them and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do it for less than $20. So just to show you guys it's even easier to do, uh, I've got my assistant Juju with us. He's going to be doing the, the challenge. He's going to be giving the money and uh, let's see what he can do with it. Oh my bad, that's the wrong one. That one's for you right there. So trusty old Juju right here is going to be trusted with the $20. I'm not going to help him with anything. He's going to go in the store, get everything he needs, go and try to catch our family dinner tonight. So you think you can do it? Yup. Time to win this challenge. I'm not really going to help him with anything and he's going to do it all. I'm just going to sit around and film more than likely. I might have to tag along a little bit to help. But, <laughs> but I'm still going to win. So first things first, I got to say bye to Diesel. See you later. Can't go, can't go on this one. Okay, so before we go in there and spend any money at all, we're going to call 702-486-6738. We're going to give them a call and see what happens. You have reached the Nevada Department of Wildlife Fish Stocking Hotline. The last trout stocking was January 31st. Floyd Lamb Pond and Sunset Pond were stocked. Thanks and have a great day. What the heck? Did they tell you when they're gonna stock fish? It's gonna be way too easy. Dang. So we just did right there is Endow has provided us with a number we can call to tell us when they're stocking the ponds with these trout. Your state should also do it. There should be some sort of way you should figure out when you're stocking your ponds. You just go within a week after and you should be in the money. Alright guys, we're here at the store and I got twenty dollars. I just found the clear section boys, we'll see what we can get. We use this for the kitchen cook. No man, we're gonna cook it at the house and find cost too much. <laughs> so the clearance section was a bus, so we're gonna go straight to the fishing island. Let's go. So we have to buy a pole and everything? Yes sir. Everything. But how am I gonna do that with just twenty dollars? Line, rod, reel, bait, weights, everything. Yeah. I guess I gotta be cheap. Am I allowed to get them by any means available? Any legal means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know, I mean, I'm thinking of getting a cheap rod, but nope. the only problem is it doesn't really come with anything, but if I get the $14 rod, it comes with bobbers, a couple little things. It's yeah. like 13 Off 74. of experience, I've learned these hooks are a little too big for trout, so I'm going to have to get something smaller. I think these ones are right in my budget. Perfect size. What size are they? Size, size 10. Size 10, quantity 6, little old hooks. Mm-hmm. Turns out I need more money, and this pulls a little over the budget, and uh, I wanted some good bait, so can't use this one anymore. So I got this pole for ten dollars, and that means I'ma get some better baits now. We use some live bait, so let's get these secret weapon. I'm gonna catch all the fish right here. Uh, it turns out the rod was mislabeled. Somebody put it in the wrong spot. It said it was nine ninety nine or like nine ninety eight, and it ended up being like what thirteen bucks. So yep. yeah, it happened, but we're still gonna catch a lot of fish. Okay. All right, guys, we're here, Sunset Park Pond. Let's go get some fish. Trout are some of the best eating fish out there. So close, yet so far. He's eyeballing me. I don't like it. Alright guys, here's what we call a Kentucky, uh, Ken what's it called? Kentucky, Kentucky rig. Kentucky rig. Alright, so this is a Kentucky rig. We got two hooks, two little hooks, and then down about a foot we got a, a weight. I'm going to put worms on first. Here's my uh, juicy worm. You just going to snap a little piece off. There you go. Lively how I like them. And you just going to slip it on the hook. Okay, I like a little piece of worm to barely cover the hook. And leave a little bit of dangling so the fish are more attracted. When the fish first get here, they're dis disorientated and they're going to be close to the shallows. 
a little confused. So we're gonna just be right here fishing it. With this setup, it's hard to believe that I won't get none because these are two, some of the best baits for trout. So I'm gonna cast it out, see what I can get. So if you guys have been following for a long time, you guys will know that this is like our original stomping grounds right here. A lot of our old videos were actually here at Sunset Park. And if you guys remember, a couple years ago we used to bass fish around here. And right, right like right here is where Julian actually caught his old personal best bass. We used to call it the Crippler. That was cool. But this lake's cool. If you guys ever stop by, you know, give Sunset a shot. They stalk it quite often, you know, during the summer with catfish and during the winter with trout. They still haven't bit yet. Right now I'm trying to move it a little faster, seeing if I can get something. See how it goes. These things are just sitting here in these corners, close enough for you to grab with your bare hand, but they're not biting anything right now. Dude, you finally got one. Yup. I know. Finally got one. It's like a good one. Okay, but Would he bite the worm? Mm -hmm. Yep, done. Looks like you might have figured out a little pattern here, huh? Just threw it in the middle of that big group. It was like a big group that's just out of sight. Slowly reeled it through them and nice bam. One. I saw that one, you about ripped his jaw off when you set the hook. It's not a bad trout right there, actually. Well, since Julian still wanted to cast, I fill up this ice chest halfway of water and first one, hopefully we can get a couple more to eat good tonight. One down, two more to go. Get a couple more, pull a limit for just 20 bucks. That's not bad. Trout at the store is literally like expensive per pound. So, catching fish here, you're saving money and eating good. Juju hooks up on his second. Every time I try to film him cast, it you popped off. Long. Well, that's the consequence of uh, filming, huh? Filming your fishing trip. You miss the fish. Juju hooked up again. I got another one. Another nice little trout. Nice trout. So Juju just hooked up on his second. How much longer do you think we're gonna stay out here? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes? Alright, we're gonna call it. That's a, that's a good one right there. That's a good one for what they stock in here. This is probably my second trout in Nevada. That's a good one for sunset. Actually, uh, I'm all excited that you guys are here, to be honest. <laughs> My name's Anthony, uh, out here fishing uh, Sunset Park, and I saw these guys at City Outdoors, and you know, had to, had to ask them how they were doing fishing out here. I hooked on myself a trout, and they want to catch and cook it, so here we go. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, man. Oh Thank yeah, you. no Thank problem, you. anytime. He's a good one, too. We're out of here. It just broke my line. <laughs> that big one just broke his line up. Anthony was kind enough to give us that third big one. Whether or not, we got three. Enough to eat for tonight. Juju wants to join boxing. He wants to become a boxer, he said. Ooh, hey, hey, who are you calling out then? Calling out um, Adrian uh, Jr. I thought you called out Ryan Garcia. And no, wait, 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 stop, stop. My first fish of the day so far, here we go. You can tell he's a stalker because their fins are usually always cut or rubbed raw or something. When we're up towards north or like northern Nevada catching the, the wilds, they always got real healthy fins. But there you go, another nice one for the dinner plate tonight. Oh yeah, he's got, he's got pretty good spots on him. Any big bass in California? Yeah, man. Oh yeah. My biggest? I mean, not, not out of the lake. Our second one. Our third, third, third. Third one. We've been out here a couple hours and got a few nice trout to, to cook up tonight. Was it, it was nice meeting you, Anthony. Oh yeah, you too. Uh, Hopefully we'll head together soon. Yep. We're going to go ahead and head home now and cook the trout up. All right, guys, we're home. Does this mean I won the challenge? I think so. <laughs> Took him long enough though, didn't it? See, we were out there with Better it. Better be. Uh, Ju caught three, and I caught two. 
And that dude named Anthony, you guys saw that's a fan, gave us this big one right here, a real nice healthy one. It's gonna be a great tasting one. So Ju, since you caught dinner today, how you wanna cook? I think I want them fried because you can never go wrong with the classic fried trout. There's just no way. It's All delicious. Right. You like them fried? So fried, it is. We'll see, we'll see what we're gonna do. So if you guys wanna know how to clean trout and everything, I already have some videos out doing that, so I'm not really gonna show it right now. You guys can click this link right here. They're a little bit older videos, but it shows how to clean them. I also have videos out showing to fry them. It should be the exact same video, it shows how to fry them. And because we fried them, I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. I haven't figured out exactly what, but we're probably gonna bake them. So one thing I will show you guys really quick is it shouldn't take you more than about 10 seconds to clean the trout. Uh, I'll show you guys this really quick. Just get a sharp knife, go under there under their mouth, it cuts out like near their tongue and then you cut up their stomach. Nice sharp knife like this one, makes the job easy. Stick your finger down, if I can do it. I'm a little slow, it's been a while. But you stick your thumb down their throat, just pull, and all the guts come out. There you go, you got a gutted trout. So for six fish, this should take you less than a minute. Um, it cleans them out nice, you just gotta remove that bloodline. But for six fish, less than a minute probably, and you'll be done eating trout in no time. So we're gonna fry some, but I also wanna bake some. Turn on the oven to 400 degrees. So we're just cutting each fish in half, makes them easier to cook. They cook faster and usually cook a little bit better all the way through. As you can see, we've got some nice fillets like that big one right there. Did good. So we're gonna do this recipe fairly simple. We're just gonna be using butter, garlic, salt, and lemon. Let's see, let's bake this guy. So first things first, you just kinda get your fish on there and you just kinda sprinkle some garlic salt on there each side. So all these fish have garlic salt on them now. We're gonna squeeze now a generous amount of lemon in, oh, <laughs> in and all over them. And then after this, we're gonna throw butter. So we're going pretty heavy handed on the butter. Butter doesn't really matter if you put too much or anything. And you know, you can never have too much butter, they say, but that's pretty much it right there. We're just gonna cover this up now and throw it in the oven. We got this piece of aluminum foil, we put one on top, and we're just gonna kinda tuck it in and fold it up to make sure the juices don't spill. This is gonna be like a giant packet that's gonna go in the oven and just kinda bakes it and steams it and whatnot inside there, and that should work amazing. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna stay in there about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna check it every about 10, five to 10 minutes to see how it's, how it's doing. So what I'm gonna do with these guys, I just sprinkled on a little bit of oil powder and we're gonna throw in a little bit of garlic salt. That's literally it. So I just threw the ones I'm frying in here, nothing special. Keep flipping every once in a while once they're flaky, they're ready to get out. This trout's been sitting here for a while. It should be done now. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out really quick. It should be good. Let's see, oh yeah. It smells amazing. Here we go. Oh yeah, just falls right apart. Let's give it a test. Jude, come try this real quick. Blow up, it's hot. It's hot. Then, yeah, it's hot, blow it up. See how you like, it's baked. It's delicious. And then the fried stuff just finished right here. You can try that too. It looks kind of funky, it was falling apart. But let's see how that tastes. See? The fried's really good, but I think the bake might be a tiny bit better because the meat's just soft and just like melts in your mouth. Oh yeah, I can see what you're talking about. The bake's way softer. This has a little bit, you can tell like it's a fried flavor. And this one's definitely tastes healthier though. That's the thing about it. I like this one too. This one turned out actually surprisingly good. It's a new recipe. I've never tried this before. And if you guys want to try this, go ahead and give it a shot. Baked trout. This stuff just falls apart, it's so tender. This butter and lemon right here mixture is amazing. Just gonna pour that over. It's kinda hard to scoop. Let's see if I can get a little better scoop here. You get a good little scoop of that stuff and just pour it right over, right over the fish you just got on your plate and voila, you got yourself some deliciousness. So if you guys made it to this part of the video, I really appreciate it. And uh, once again, these trout, Super, super hard to beat. Julian had $20, went to the store. We showed you absolutely everything there was to it. Very simple, very easy. We even gave you guys a number to call if you're here in the Vegas area, trying to fish any of these local ponds for these trout. And uh, Juju got it done, definitely fed the family. Mm -hmm. Amazing meal. And uh, I'll tell you guys what, 
this meal for 20 bucks is absolutely uh, you can't beat it you can't beat it you you guys should go try it really recommend it and uh, do the exact same thing here got anything you want to add before we taste it and I mean, you guys all know that I'm good at fishing, and this proves it. <laughs> and of course, I won the challenge. So let's let's dig in. I wasn't sure if he was gonna do it, but let's, let's taste it again. Hard That's to amazing. Beat. Hard to beat here. The the, is... the bake's definitely more tender. Soft. <laughs> you got bone right now. Try a little bit of this fried. Mhm. Mm but this stuff's amazing, but. If you guys try this and you post it on like Facebook or Instagram or anything, tag me. I'll like it, comment, and do all these things. I love seeing you guys um, use recipes I've used or do stuff I've showed you guys how to do. And I love you guys commenting, you know, um, inspirational stuff and all that. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. And I'll see you outdoors. Joan used to have a thing where he liked to kick ducks. One time he had chanclas on and his big toe turned green. Kick the butt. <laughs> Anything. Try to sneak up. Oh, you already busted by that one. <laughs>